right, I'm going to record this for other people to listen later. All right, so I just got off the thing with uh, lots of good social media information that fall when, uh, um, when she puts it, because lots of good information from, from Sherry about like pages and, you know, reaching, um, reaching more people and all that stuff. Okay, so I want, I have like official stuff to talk about. Sometimes you know, we just have like one little topic, but I actually have stuff to talk about. So I want to talk about how to be laser focused and how to get your work done and be able to have priorities and balance and all of that. Um, in your life, and I want us to work harder, not smarter. I mean, that way around. <laughs> smarter, not harder, um, so that we can, you know, do what we want to do and accomplish our goals and help a ton of people, but not be playing with our phone and playing with the computer all day long and all that kind of stuff. So, number one is work from a schedule. We all have 24 hours in our day, the top coaches in us, and Every person out there has 24 hours of how we choose to spend it and what we choose to, you know, to do. Um, and when you do like that, it actually kind of gives you freedom to, you know, be able to get it done and, and not feel like stressed, like, oh, I didn't get that done, I didn't get that done. And John Maxwell says a lot, you control your calendar. You are in charge of what you do during the day. So if you're at the end of the day and you feel like, Jared, I don't know if that's your phone. Um, yes, I think, can you mute your phone, Daria? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if it's just because you're driving. <laughs> there we go. You can unmute if you want to chime in. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. No, I'm not. Maybe. Where am I? Oh, she kind of froze up. Okay. Well, I'll keep talking. <laughs> See if we can do it. All right, is that better? Yeah, I think that that was. Oh, are you gone now though? Okay, you can still hear us. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'll just keep. Going. All right. Ah, yeah, it must be hearing what I'm saying, like repeating. Okay, I'll just give it a try. All right. So about. Uh, yeah. Are you able to mute it or not really? Um, I couldn't mute myself, so let me see. The option to mute, so is there a way that you can mute me? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, I have not yeah. tried to do that, but let me try to do that. Oh, yeah, I can. Mute audio. Yay! <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, I think it was hearing the feedback from what I was saying, and it was echoing. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, yeah, so um, just about you control your calendar, and this was huge for me because I'm, I've am i learned a lot to not be such a people pleaser, but people would be like, hey, do you want to do this today? And I'd be like, yeah, and then at the end of the day, I would be like, oh, I didn't do that and that and that, and I didn't do the laundry, and I didn't do that. But whose fault was that? Is mine, because I said yes to something else that – Maybe it wasn't a bad thing, but that wasn't what was best for me to do that, that minute of that day. Or at least I just can't complain about it because I chose to do that. So um, that has really helped me a lot. So you need to come up with your priorities. And um, we've, I mean, we talk about this all the time. But you, and block out your time. There's lots of different ways that you can do it. I have a planner. And some people use Google Calendar. You can kind of think about it. But you need to really just pretty much have like four or five things that are priorities in your life. And that can be, um, you know, your, your marriage, your family. Beachbody should be on there if you, wanna, if you want Beachbody to be a thing. It needs to be on there so that you block out the time for it. Maybe you're homeschooling like Kendra is. Maybe it's, you know, Lindsay Church stuff. Daria probably school and work and those kind of things. So I'm going to show. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I just wanted to give you like sort of a visual of how I block out my time. Like I had an army thing. This would be just like an example. And you can do like the different colors. And so there's a lot of green because family is pretty important to me. And I don't want to be doing beach body all the time. But beach body is blue. You know, and so on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when Bradley's home, those are my big beach body working times. And on the other times, you know, I just do less time. 
and time with Brian is important on there, our family night, our community group. So those are, you know, some things in my workouts and my personal development time and my, you know, reading my devotions and Bible time. So those are my, like my priorities are my family, not in right order. I mean, probably God first. And I just put family, Brian, Beachbody, and then, um, you know, my faith and my time with God and then um, the army, because right now we have commitments with that, both Brian and I do, that come into our calendar for the week. So I can kind of look at the week and on Sunday, I look at the week and I go through and I figure out what's going to be going on. When am I going to work beach body? Okay, that day I have Bible study. Okay, then I'm not going to work beach body from eight to 10 like I normally do, you know, or whatever. And so anyway, that has really, really helped me to have that schedule and to have that time and then you can look at your list, and if you're like, okay, I said that Matt was a priority to me, but really, um, there isn't any time for him on there, <laughs> you know, then it helps you kind of realize it. Or, you know, if you say that your family is important, are you, is there any time for them? Is, are you making time for school or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that is important to you, your time to work out, all that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, I just really encourage you to, to work from a schedule that's really, really helped me um, with my, my life. And, um, that being said, number two is to know your income producing activities. When you do sit down to do your beach body work, there are certain things that are going to be, um, that are good to do and are important to do. And then there's certain things that are going to actually help you grow your income. And that's, um, you know, bottom line, what we are here for. We are definitely, you know, we do want to help, um, help people always that's always our number one but just as doctors want to get paid and dentists and you know social workers like we also want to get paid for that and um, you know compensated accordingly so your income producing activities what are they that is bringing in new clients um, I don't really like the word clients but people you know bringing in new um, and I don't even really like customers and I don't even really like prospects I don't really know what I call my people but Challengers, that's actually usually what I say, challengers. And that would be um, for your free groups or for, you know, our big, longer 21-day groups. Um, those, obviously, free groups, you know, um, isn't going to be bringing you the income, but eventually they will if, if you're getting those people. Um, and, I mean, you don't want to just get people just to hope they give you money, but you know what I'm saying. Getting new people is going to be your number one. And then adding, along with that, adding value and building relationships is going to go a long way with how can you help them? How can you serve them? They're going to come back to you when they have a need. Um, and then you'll be able to help them. Your follow-ups and even your personal development is actually income producing because the more that you're growing and the more that you're learning and you're learning skills and you're learning things, if you invest in yourself and apply it, that's going to in turn, um, you know, be an income producing thing. So what is not income producing? You probably can think about this, but, Deciding to build a website for yourself, deciding to build, um, work on graphics like in PicMonkey and Canva. And I know I'm sometimes guilty of that because I want stuff for our team. Um, but I don't know. People keep telling me the chart, you know, hire that out and have somebody pay someone five bucks to do it. But I think, oh, I can do it easier. But if it's taking me an hour, then is that really income producing? You know, not really. Um, listening to random webinars, signing up for stuff that's not really, really gonna help you. And the biggest one of all is Facebook scrolling, we know. Lindsay, I know, is just did the newsfeed eradicator and is still going good. Yeah, yes, so she said uh, it's a thing that, so when you click home, it'll just be an inspirational quote, like get back to work, stop. <laughs> like Don't just scroll through here. And I know a ton of people, they actually take Facebook off their phone. And they have their groups app and then the pages app and they just post on there and they don't, um, I try to do that, but I still post regular to my regular Facebook kind of a lot. And, but it is, I will pick up my phone and just scroll and I know why, like why? And it's actually, I think it's a bad habit and an addiction. Like, Oh, I'm, you know, I have five minutes. I'll just scroll my Facebook. Do we really need to be doing that? You know? No. So anyway, that's that. So then, and also we, we've talked before about turning your notifications off. Um, Daria, I don't know, we've beat this to death in Team Believe, but you're newer, but um, uh, you can turn all of your notifications off so that you're not getting emails, you're not getting 
messenger stuff, turn, turn it all off. <laughs> it feels like you're going to miss stuff, but it is so freeing to not be getting stuff all the time. And you're sitting there watching a movie with your husband and ding, oh, somebody posted their dinner. Like, who cares? You don't need to see it right then and there, <laughs> you know? And I had that, my very first challenge that I did, like, um, when I was a challenger, just a challenger, not a coach at all, I got an email from every single post in the group, every comment, every post in our challenge group. And I kept it for two months. Like I just, and I would actually literally go and someone would like say they comment posted and I would like click on it and go in the group and say something to them like right then. And then. <laughs> I, was like, I can't believe I did that. But anyway, I mean, it was inspiring to me and Hey, some people, you know, that is good for them, but um, but honestly, now as coaches, when we're trying to build our businesses, we don't need to be seeing all that. So, so yeah. So when you sit down to work, you need to do the income things first, send out those invites, you know, do the things, add those friends, do all those things. And that's where that win the day tracker comes in that, um, we had talked about and I'm gonna, I think I was going to talk about it later, but I'm going to jump in quick. Um, I want to get us out of here in half an hour. So all right, I'm going to screen share, Daria. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but um, we're going to try, um, at least for in the future. Okay, so win the day tracker. This is the win the day tracker. Can you guys see it? Yeah, or, or sort of. Daria, keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> um, so so the, on the win the day, basically it's a BAT, a B-A-T, which is a business activity tracker. but. Um, and mine, I don't know why. When I look at it in the regular thing, it works good, but I've had to make it bigger. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Um, on here, when I pulled it out, it doesn't look right. I'm going to try to make it really big. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> Lost it. Um, making it bigger. Anyway, I don't know. Okay, well, it's just going to say add value, start conversations with five people. List five new people. Follow up with five people. Invite you know, people add new friends, post, and it's just and do your workout. It just tells you what you need to do basically. And you can click and say, okay, I added three new people and, you know, just put it in there and it's a way to just keep track of what you're doing. And so then now the add new friends, these are new people that I have, um, uh, you know, just created like new friend requests that I've gotten or, or from likes and stuff just in, just in the last day or two, just started been using this. And so my forming, this is when I am talking with them in some way or I've invited them to something. And then I'm waiting kind of for responses on some of these people. And then once I get someone in my forming and they're not interested, there's two different ways. What I'm going to do is to click it and cut it and then paste it in the not right now. And then later on when it's the next month, I can go back and, and you know, and put in there Go, I know who to talk to and keep track of people because um, I know there's a ton of people that have said not right now and then I never got back to them. So the leads, these are the free leads that you get from um, Beachbody for hitting success clubs. And then the challengers, these are people I'm putting, if they've been a five day or they're just ordering something and then the coaches dream team. So that's just like briefly um, about that. But that's going to keep you on track. So when you sit down, those are the income building things to do on there. Um, you know, add friends, invite, <laughs> you know, check in your groups. Do you do those things? Then you're free to do whatever else you want to do. Does that, I'm going to stop for a second. I'll unmute you too, Daria. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, maybe I will unmute. Um, yeah. Do you have any questions or anything? So far? Um, the template, like, does everyone have the same kind, or do you guys modify it and make it kind of your own? Mm -hmm. you um, can, yeah. yeah, you can definitely make it your own, um, however you want and whatever you want to put on there. Um, I think we got this from Megan Ewanson, who is the number three coach, and she's got literally like thousands and thousands and thousands of people under her, and they use this. So um, it works for them. So, you know, is it going to work? Um, the, I guess I'm saying it's proven. It's proven that this works, and she tells everyone to change it and, you know, use it to how you want it for yourself. 
Um, definitely. Yeah. You can give yourself a copy of it and then, you know, adjust it to what works best for you. But um, I guess I would suggest not, not adding like too many extra things. I don't think that's what you meant. But. What do you usually change or adjust on there? I mean, like, it's kind of like self explanatory. Yeah. Basically, everything basic you need is on there. Right. The only thing that I changed is um, the wording on the bottom <laughs> because I don't really know why, but she has like the way she just does it in her mind. But to me, I changed it so it says add five new friends and then forming because form, I'm not sure you even know this, but form stands for talking to them about their family, their occupation, their recreation, and then your message, inviting them. So basically it means people that you're inviting, you know, that are, they've come to you or you've talked to them. It's a little more than, hi, how are you, you know? Um, and then she has the next, she's had follow up, and then she had like follow up five or something different. And I just changed it to not right now because I like to have a group uh, page that that says that for me because I mean, as we add to this, if you add five new people every day and you're talking to five new people every day, you're gonna get hundreds, hundreds of people. And so I like being able to have, you know, for me, I have a place for that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I've been using it just like honestly this week, Monday and Tuesday, and like just a tiny bit last week, and I really, I really like it because I think it everything is there. If I was like doing a bat and writing a list and like here's my contacts and like my five new friends and oh wait, but they're a coach, so they're not really my contacts. And, you know, like ugh, I don't know. It was just kind of I think that this works and I'm happy to have the um the simplicity of it. But I think that if you follow it, it's gonna help you to have the you know, that focus when you're when you are trying to do your do your stuff. All right, I'm gonna, um, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I know I had, uh, uh, kind of, we chatted um, before about like doing the websites and stuff like that. I know it's a little bit earlier for me to do, but do you guys use like an outside source to build your websites and stuff or just like Facebook and social media kind of? Um, Facebook, they say is primary, the primary um, one and a lot of people use Instagram, but most all social media people will say the majority of people are on Facebook um, and that's our Facebook and, and Instagram as far as like reaching people and, you know, talking to new people and meeting new people and stuff like that. I mean, if you're already like on Twitter or on Periscope or other things like that, um, for now, like we want to get you earning money and helping people, <laughs> you know, so we don't want you to be like spending too much time and money, like doing other things, I guess I would say. And honestly, um, you don't need a website website. If you're good at that and you already have one and you want to, um, you know, it definitely is a landing place for a lot of people, but very, a ton, I mean, I would say the majority of coaches, like, at least at this level, do not have a website. Um, you don't, most people would say you don't need one. I know there's a bunch of sites that offer, like, free websites that you can do, because, like, our photography business um, is run on a website that doesn't charge anything, so that's why. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you you can't. Like, you definitely can, especially if you already know about it because of your photography business. Um, for me, I, ha I haven't. I mean, I'm still working and learning how to develop my like page and even just my personal page and, um, you know, developing, like, a following right there, I guess I could say. Uh, because I don't know about you, but I don't go to that many websites anymore. Maybe it's just because I'm doing this now. But I don't really go to people. I don't know. Like I used to. And I used to get their emails and I'd get a few, but I kind of stopped getting them. I kind of just like follow them on Facebook if I follow anybody. Like, I don't know. Like Money Saving Mom, I used to actually go to her website and look at a recipe. Now I just Google Money Saving Mom. You know, like I don't know. I don't really go to people's websites as much. I mean, I think it's a great place to like store all your stuff and your information and your recipes, but you can just start doing that on your like page. That would be my suggestion. 
Okay. If that, if that makes sense. But um, you can get a like page. That's the page. Um, you know about that? Do you have that for your photography thing? Yes. Okay. You can create one that just says Daria and has your name, and then you can start getting followers there. And that's a lot of what we, um, what what we would suggest first. But do you um, do this like as a run it as a personal business, or how do you um, label it? Actually, we um, we can the video that I was just on, and we can talk about this because I want to finish up this. But um, just briefly, we um, we people mostly all of us we used to say you know like I used to say healthy balance like Jen Yoder's healthy balance healthy balance with Jen Yoder and adventures in health and you know Kendra Mason fitness and um, the suggestion now is just to have your name because people see that they see fitness or they see health and they don't they don't want to read what you have to say it's, like it's all about health. And we want to be brand our, ourselves as, you know, as a person, not just as a beach body coach and stuff like that. So um, we can talk more about, about that. And we have some like training and, and stuff on that. But I'm going to finish with this and then we can talk more. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So back to this number. So number one was to work from a schedule, get your priorities, control your calendar. Number two, know your income producing activities and do them. And number three is to eliminate your distractions. And um, this is big, I know, for all of us, and we all have different things going on, but your beach ready time and your family time, family time, try not to mix them. All right. I'm going to move it again real quick. I think it's phone. Um, and I mean, I've been guilty of this. Like I'm trying to sit on the couch with Brian and then, oh, I'm checking my phone and, uh, you know, I'm doing beach body and, oh, I'm getting up and I'm doing this. And, um, some suggestions about that is when you're sitting down to do beach body, put your phone on airplane mode or leave it in the other room, like literally, and then sit down and do your work for, you know, your hour. And I know as moms or as busy people, sometimes we can do 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here, but still. Put your phone on on silent for those 15 minutes and then do it again 15 minutes later and um, just think how much more you're not going to be tempted like oh I got a text oh even if it's from your husband you know it's going to distract you from being focused and getting your stuff done some people put on music um, actually one other person um, that I heard she said on Spotify there's actually a morning product productivity playlist <laughs> and she plays it when she sits down to do her work and her brain is kind of trained like it's working on beach body time and she just sits there and she does it like it turns on and you know go so I mean we all are different and when we can work and how we're doing that she doesn't have kids and she you know does things differently but um, that was a suggestion and then I obviously talked about the notifications being off and another thing is to set a timer, set it for an hour, set it for 30 minutes and actually even using like an egg timer, kitchen timer when it's ticking, like if you hear that ticking and you know that's your work time, you know, how much faster are you going to work? Or if you know, um, you know, Matt's watching the kids and giving you an hour, you've got an hour, like use that hour, go do it. Don't be wasting, don't be scrolling, you know, just go use your hour and you know, reach out to people, check your groups, you know, do your work. Um, uh, um, yeah, so those are just a few things for distractions. And then um, number four is incorporate tools and systems that can help you. And this is with scheduling your posts ahead. That's the cool thing, Daria, about having that like page, that like professional page, is that you can schedule. So it looks like I'm on Facebook all day long, but really I schedule like five of my posts and like two of them are live. <laughs> um, not always. Some days I'm like, ah, crap, I didn't, you know, do it <laughs> and I have to post more. But um, I mean, on the whole, like a lot of it is I post it ahead of time and I always post my evening one so that I'm done and I'm go with Brian and I'm, I'm not having to post. And then I just set times to go back in and kind of comment and, and stuff. And you can use um, Buffer is, and Hootsuite or however you say that word, you know, to schedule for your groups. Lindsay, apparently Buffer, you can, I don't know, have you ever looked at that one? I guess you can schedule to your personal page on that too, which I guess you can on Hootsuite, but, um, but some, some people do that and they have posts go up on their personal page and 
everything from that one. Um, and then just, you know, using a Google Drive, that way you have your documents with you. Some people use Evernote or the, that Google Drive. So if you are, you know, traveling for three days and you don't have your computer, you, you can, you know, access your, your stuff. Um, number five is outsourcing. And this can be, you know, big, like, you design my website, you do this, you know, those kind of things, but it can just be, I know this has been big for us with just um, having the kids help me clean the house more because I am a stay at home mom and that is part of my role. And I still want that to be my role, but I'm also trying to build a business and bring in money for our family. And so I don't have the same amount of time anymore that I used to, um, to clean the house <laughs> and do the laundry. You know, I just don't have that now. Some people would say, hire a house cleaner, you know, and we're not to that point. And, um, you know, but the kids, they can help. I have four kids. They can help. And it's good for them anyway for them. And so, you know, on Saturdays or whatever, we all work together. And that's like a way of outsourcing out some of the things. What is, you know, outsource the things that, um, that other people can help you do. Because there's only things that Lindsay can do, and there's some things that only Daria can do, but there's things that other people can do. And another suggestion was even, um, you know, with kids, like having your husband help with dinner one night a week, and you get an extra 30 minutes or an extra hour because he prepped the dinner, and then you just came out and ate it, and you got an hour done. So, I mean, look at your schedule, you know, talk with your, you know, family, figure out how you can work together, you know, kind of as a team. All right, and I do want to get us in on one minute. Um, the last thing is to say no to what doesn't serve you. And I kind of mentioned this before, but saying no to people, saying no to things. And I know for me, um, having this calendar of like, this is what's, what I'm going to do. And yes, we have flexibility. And yes, I really believe in, you know, kind of being in tune with God. And this is what comes up. And this is how you need to serve that day. And I'm not saying no I'm, I said I was doing this, you know, that reg, regimented, but at the same time, if someone's like, hey, can you do this, you know, on Thursday, you can be like, no, actually, I'm, I'm doing this. I already have a prior commitment, and you can not have to feel, um, you know, feel guilty about that, or you planned that it's your family movie night on a certain night, and then someone says, well, let's go do this, you can say, no, I already have a prior commitment, and that's, that's freeing, um, that's freeing for me, I know, <laughs> like, to not have to, to feel like I need to, to do everything and be part of everything, and I mean, even, like, tonight, there was a ladies um, get-together, and I didn't know about it till Sunday, and it was tonight, and I said, no, I already have a prior commitment, which was you guys, I have my team calls on Tuesday night, and that's important to me, and so I said no, you know, and, um, but yeah, anyway, so say no to what's not serving you, what's not aligning with your goals. And that can also be, um, you know, certain TV shows, watching a ton of, ton of TV shows. Maybe you don't need to do that as much. Facebook scrolling, is that aligning with your goals? Probably not at that moment. And not that it's not okay to Facebook scroll later. And, but I mean, if you have your interest groups of people that you're checking in with, then, I don't know. I mean, I still feel like I'm scrolling, but I'm checking in with people. And so it feels better. And our challenge groups, I mean, there's so many different groups that that's my scrolling, you know, I get to see, to see those kind of things. But, um, but anyway, so the last thing is, yeah, you don't want to lose yourself and your dreams for the sake of others. You can't be everything to everyone when you're overwhelmed, then nothing gets done. Um, but you can have a life of freedom and balance. Um, if you keep your priorities, you know, separated and, and all in, in balance. And that's truly what I want for us. I want us to make a ton of money and I want us to help a ton of people and I want us to retire our husbands and I want us to, you know, whatever that goal is, whatever that dream is, I want that for us. But we have to put in the work. John Maxwell says too, I've said this before that, the dream is free, but the journey isn't. We can dream, dream, dream of all these amazing things we want to do, and we can achieve them when we believe, And when, but we've put in the hard work. <laughs> and um, another thing I know that Summer says a lot is that all in doesn't mean all day. So, you know, you might think, gosh, there's a lot I have to do, but no, we set time, and we do Beachbody, and then we put it away, and we do our other things and if you follow that tracker and I mean we have 
probably 20 different trackers because everybody comes up with their own. But this, I think, is honestly my favorite one because the, the contact list is there too. Uh, or, you know, the list of, I think that that really helps. So that's what I'm going to be using and recommending. Um, but we can get in, get out, and still have all of our other priorities in check. Does that make sense? Everybody good? I'll unmute you. Anything you want to say? Oh, I know I'll let you guys know it's 10. We're good? Does that help? Or Do you have that list down? Or, um, which, which one? The, the one that you were just going off of, like all the... Oh, my notes? Um, I can write it down. It's actually just like note, notes. <laughs> um, but uh, I was looking at some, of some, some other things. And... <laughs> you what? I said I was because I was just gonna um, re-listen to it after for the recording and just write it all down because I was driving half the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will post the recording to our group, um, but I can kind of write out. I can kind of write out that definitely. Um, I can kind of write it up. It wouldn't be wouldn't be hard to do that. Yeah. Good. Well, and I was gonna do a giveaway, um, but you're both here, so I will actually give you a book one because I want to. So what I was gonna give away is Turbo Jam DVD. <laughs> I think you guys know that Turbo Jam was my first official program. That's the one I ordered in the middle of the night, um, and I lost forty pounds doing this every day. It is old, and but it is fun. <laughs> It's like kind of before Turbo Fire. Um, it's more dancing, but it's Shaleen and it's super fun. And um, I got these in the Black Friday sale, and I was gonna do them for giveaways for some things. So I was gonna give away one tonight, but since you guys are here, then you'll both get one. Yeah. Um, I will mail it to you. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So thank you. Please post any questions. Oh, one other thing, I was gonna post this in the group um, for me for keeping you know my schedule and my distractions I think one big thing for me is messages I always have a ton and ton of messages um, which is good because a lot of it is business things but a lot of it is talking with you guys um, and uh, it was recommended to me to not message you guys as much <laughs> and that's been on me you know I write you and how are you what can I do how are you you know but we need to talk in the team because more often than not we're going to it. Someone else has that same question and um, they can learn from it too. And then it also just helps some of the coaches that you know, aren't sure what's going on to learn and to help us have more conversation going on in Team Believe. It's been quiet. <laughs> um, so not that you can't message me, but let's try to put it in the group. Um, and I'm going to try too because I know I'm the one who usually messages too. Um, but just try to, try to keep not that we can't message, but keep a lot of a lot of our conversations in the group, uh, unless they're really like personal, or private, or like that. Does that make sense? On the team believe one. Yeah, team believe. Yeah, so team believe is for our coaches, um, and then our other ones. You know, I know I know there's so many, um, but there's the training groups, and then there's you know the challenge groups, and um, all those different ones. But team believe is for coaches, um, for everyone for even just kind of a discount coach or a regular coach um working coach and those go back and forth as we know so never discount anyone um discount anyone <laughs> um you know uh, but yeah but the more people we have working the more people we can help and that's ultimately what our, our goal is. so i'm excited for 2016 and our team and i want us to really get hard and um I don't want to drag anyone or force anyone, but anyone that wants to go, I'm going. So let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, girls, I'm going to stop it so that we can let you guys go. Try to keep it right at 30 minutes. A little over. All right. Thanks. Have a good time. Good rest of your evening. And I will talk to you later. Thanks, Jen.